All right, this is going to be a reading for Pisces, dealing with another Pisces. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for Pisces, dealing with another Pisces. What messages do you have? This is going to be a reading for September 3rd through the 10th. All right, Pisces dealing with another Pisces. Four cards out of the Hidden Truth Oracle. And then we'll move on to the Rebel deck, get some more messages, jump on into your tarot reading, and then close it out with a few Romance Angels at the end. So this could be the unsaid messages between you two. Um, so many things remind me of you. So you may be saying this to the other Pisces. Pisces may be saying this to you. They're constantly reminded of you or you're constantly reminded of them. And then sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah, this person definitely can't get you out of their head, cannot get you off of their mind. What else? What else, Spirit? Pisces dealing with another Pisces. I'm starting to understand the connection and my life is not together as it seems. Hold on, I need some lotion. All right. too much. Pisces. Pisces dealing with another Pisces, please. What else? Thank you to all of your guys' likes, subscribes, your shares, donations. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. All right, let's see. Hit that like button if you find that these messages resonate or um, help you out or give you guidance in any way. I left when I saw you with someone and I wish things could be different. So someone here may have maybe entertaining someone else, all right? And that could have pushed someone away. Someone here wishes that things could be different and I'm becoming a better person on the bottom of the deck. So someone here may be uh, working on themselves, wishing that things could be different, trying to change some things even. All right, let's get four cards from the Rebel deck. Luna, get down. <laughs> She's doing her little tornado. I was like, what is all that noise from such a little, little creature? All right, four cards, please. Pisces dealing with another Pisces. We have... Put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. So, yeah, maybe you need to go hang out with friends. Go, you know, I just heard your parents. Maybe you need to go, someone needs to go see their parents. Okay. Um, yeah. So we have get the fuck out of your head. Get in your heart. It misses you. So somebody here may be spending a lot of time up in their head. Um, thinking about the other one, Spirit is saying, put the fucking phone down, go talk to a live person, go have some live interaction, too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Then we have, you are the best thing that ever happened to you. Go easy on your ass, buy your own damn drink, right? So, you don't need no one else to make you happy. I know that's kind of contra contradicting when it says go talk to a live person. Just because you're talking to someone does not mean... You're, you know, codependent on somebody. All right. I thought there was another card that flipped. So we have, it is not everyone else's fault. It is yours. You're a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. So this could be for you. This could be for the person that you're dealing with. But Spirit is saying, hey, take accountability for your own actions. Now, whether that's for you or the other pricing involved, I'll let you, you know, be the judge of that one. All right. And then on the bottom of the deck, you need a good fucking cry. Get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. All right. So someone here may need to. <laughs> I feel like someone's in their emotions, maybe missing the other person. Um, someone's in their head a little bit. I don't know if it's you or the other Pisces. If it's not you, it's the other one. All right. So let's see. Jump on into the tarot reading if those messages didn't resonate. Does not mean that the rest of the reading will not resonate with you. All right, so first card out is going to be for Pisces, for my subscriber, overall energy. Keep in mind, energy can always be reversed. Flip-flop the roles according to your situation. All right, so let's get in, into this. Pisces, overall energy. 
I'm going to say Pisces number one and Pisces number two to make it easy for me, okay? You can be Pisces one, you can be Pisces two. <laughs> I don't know. Show me Pisces number one, my subscriber. This is intended for my subscriber, all right? Show me the overall energy, please, for Pisces. Dealing with another Pisces. Pisces dealing with another Pisces. We got the Queen of Wands. Okay. So busting out the Queen of Wands. Sorry, y'all. My hair is like a fucking mess because I got to get up early. And so I was trying to like tone it down early. Anyways, uh, Queen of Wands. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate the ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance and career in, in your personal life. So I feel like you're very confident. You're taking action. You're going after what it is that you want. You're, you're looking good doing it. <laughs> All right. Show me Pisces number two. Show me what is their overall energy. The cross watcher. The Pisces dealing with another Pisces. What is their overall energy? Ooh, the Nine of Pentacles reverse. <sighs> All right. So... Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I'm going to read it in the upright. Something here has came to a complete stop. Someone here is like, this could be the one who's like up in their head because this, you know, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is like something coming to a complete stop. Not planning, not strategizing, not really working towards anything stable. Just kind of like something here is at a complete dead halt. All right. In this person's energy. Um, oh yeah, so I was going to read it. So loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for the perfect timing and a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. All right. So this person, I feel like this person may also be lacking sense of direction at this time. Okay. Show me Pisces, my subscriber. What is in their emotions? What is Pisces emotions, please? One's dealing with another Pisces. Pisces dealing with another Pisces, please. Subscriber. Emotions. The moon. So I feel like you're... You could be... Hmm. Okay, so the moon talks about, like, intuition. You know, deep emotions. Hidden feelings. Hidden... Being very secretive, okay? Keeping something close to your chest. Uh, listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears, revelations. That will make everything clear. So there may be something here hidden surrounding some type of emotions. We also have fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. You may have that in your chart. Pisces, Cancer as well. Either way, I feel like you... Um, you may be keeping whatever it is that you're taking action on. This could even uh, relate to, like, your passions and your desires. All right. So maybe you're keeping, I feel like you're keeping, hmm, how do I say this? Like, you're keeping some type of passion and desire close to your chest. Or you're hiding the fact that you're very passionate about something. Or let go of any unnecessary fears. Make sure to use your intuition, but also... Um, I'm getting like, don't overanalyze the situation. If you feel something to be true, go with it and don't overanalyze it at this time. Show me Pisces number two, the cross watcher. What's in their emotions? I feel like you're keeping something close to your chest, but you are very passionate about taking action here. All right. I can go so many ways, but let's see. Pisces number two, show me their emotions, please. What is in their emotions? So the seven of pentacles, they, huh, that's weird. All right, so seven of pentacles. This is like planning for the future, planting seeds. In their emotions, um, this person may be working on something. I don't know, because it's like, no. So in their emotions. All right, let's see. Seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time of resting, planning, or planning for the future, unnecessary worry. So I feel like both of you guys have unnecessary worry. But I feel like your person, this Pis other Pisces, is like apprehensive. Maybe because something came to a complete stop. Maybe somebody stopped putting in effort. Or someone's like not working towards something. But in their emotions, it's like they want to plant seeds or they are. 
Let's keep going because this is different. All right, show me Pisces next move. Show me Pisces number two. Six of Wands. So there is some type of success and victory coming towards you. Public recognition. You may be doing something online in the public eye, getting a lot of attention. Either way, this is like talks about success, victory, um, accolades even, victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success promotes abortion. Promote <laughs> promotions, awards, and scholarships. Okay. So you're being recognized for something here. You're going after something very passionately. You're taking action. You're looking good doing it, but you're keeping your emotions, I feel like, hidden or keeping your emotions close to your chest at this time. You may also be hiding the fact that you have some underlying fear surrounding a situation, but you're not showing it. Your confidence is shining through, and that's bringing in some type of success and victory for you. Show me Pisces number two. What is their next next move? I almost said next action because I started doing that. All right. Anyways, Pisces next move. Pisces number two, Queen of Swords, and Ten of Cups. Hmm. So Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, this person may be uh, making some type of head over heart decision to cut something out, cut something off. Brilliant, uh, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations of people that no longer serve you. Seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career, divorced or unmarried individuals. So this sword is pointing up towards, you know, your energy. So maybe this is someone who's wanting to speak their truth um, to you. This person's going to speak some type of truth towards you, but I feel like they're a little bit defensive or they're a little bit cold and detached. This person may... Um, hmm. Something here is like came to a complete stop in this person's energy, but it's like in their emotions, they want to plant seeds, but something stopped. Did you stop it or did they... I'm leaning towards they did. What is Pisces, my subscriber? What is their intentions here? What is their intentions? The Ace of Cups, so a brand new beginning in love. Blessings. Blessings of blessings of blessings. A beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship, a deep friendship, awakening and psychic abilities, and spiritual insights, a love letter, and a new home. So, your intentions here, I feel like you... Pisces, I feel like you're hiding your emotions, but you're, you're like, taking action on something. Like, you're moving forward very confidently. You're, you're a doer, <laughs> okay? You're having some type of success in your life, public recognition. You may be, you know... Uh, buying a new house or planning for a new car or looking towards a new beginning in love, whatever it is, there's good things that are coming into your life. Success and victory, like the accolades, public recognition, whatever this is, your emotions though, you may have some type of fears, but you're covering it up with confidence. All right, Pisces, go in. Show me Pisces number two. What is their intentions? That card likes the chariot. They want to move something forward, Cancerian energy. Rewards that comes from hard work. So this person also wants like something to move forward in a positive direction. They also, this is under their intentions. Excuse me, rewards that come from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower, public recognition. All right, so this person, <laughs> Does this person want what you got? I don't know. I'm not her to say bro. She's talking to girls too. It's funny. 
Anyways, um, I feel like something is like, I don't know. I might clarify this with the tarot because I feel like something here in someone's overall energy, whoever you're dealing with, something came to a complete fucking stop. That is clear. But then it's like they're, they're still, they're planting seeds for the future. Like maybe, or maybe they're wanting to plant seeds. This could be someone who's making it over. This could also be someone who's going through some type of a separation or divorce in order to move something forward. This is like someone who in their emotions, they want to plant seeds, but I feel like Because something else came to a complete stop. Because something... I don't know. Is this person, like, trying to get out of a situation? And come plant seeds with you? <laughs> I don't know. Come and speak some type of truth about a situation? Maybe about a separation? I don't even know. Show me the outcome. Outcome between these two Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, someone may be becoming single or I don't know. Maybe somebody, this could be you that's on your side. Show me show me the outcome between these two Pisces, please. Someone here is very stable, um, single, uh, independent, <laughs> self-sufficient, doing well on their own, enjoying the fruits of their labor, um, hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Maybe after some type of betrayal or there will be a betrayal. What in the actual fuck? Okay. Buying yourself something special, happily and successfully. You may be self-employed. You may be staying to yourself. You may be single, you know, but doing okay for yourself. And then there's this Ten of Swords, like an end of a situation that brings relief. So there may be some type of an ending here, or maybe you put an end to something. Somebody else may be feeling betrayed. I don't fucking know. Um, sadness or both. The opportunity for new happiness. A weight off your shoulders. The end of an addiction and a melodramatic reaction. So many years, like, packing their shit and walking through that door. You may be deciding to go towards new love. You may be even deciding to relocate. I don't know. Um, we do have something about a new house or a new car. Success, victory. You're taking action. You're doing you're looking good doing it you're wearing you know you're dressed nice uh you look nice you present yourself very well i feel like you're like leaving the fucking swords at the door like you're leaving some baggage like like you're leaving all these swords that you know 10 swords is like a lot of pain you're leaving this shit at the door you're walking into like a new beginning you may be walking like deciding to become single self-employed like Fuck this. I'm done. Okay. Tell me more about the outcome with these two Pisces. Or somebody is. I don't know. Outcome, please, between these two Pisces. This could even be same sex. I don't necessarily feel that, but it's a possibility. Six of swords. Yeah, someone's moving or relocating. Somebody's moving into like a more peaceful stance or peaceful place in their life. And they're very hopeful. They're going towards their wish fulfillment. Six of swords. The end of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcoming relief. Finding your way to a peaceful place and the end of depression or an illness. Travel or relocation. Yeah, you're moving away from things that made you feel like pain. This next week, you're, you're like, you're fucking out. <laughs> you're out. Someone's out. I, I don't know. The star card. We have Aquarius, Cancer, Energy, Pisces, Cancer again. Yeah, anyways, out here so far. Anyways, um, have faith. The future is bright. Dreams do come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, someone here is very hopeful, and they're going towards their wish fulfillment. They're moving their life into calmer waters. I don't know if that's you or this person or whatever, but I feel like someone's becoming single. Someone may be moving, relocating, buying a new car, buying a new house, renting, whatever the hell you're doing. But I feel like it has to do with some type of success and victory. You may be keeping something close to your, close to your chest is what I keep getting uh, about whatever action that you plan on taking here with this queen of wands. And you're doing so very confidently. Someone may have a small black pet. All right, let's get one more for the outcome. As for your Pisces person, I don't know what the hell's going on over there. We're going to have to take a look into that, I think. 
All right, yeah, Knight of Wands. <laughs> Someone's like, I'm fucking out. Sayonara, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, Knight of Wands. It's like full speed ahead. I'm going after what it is that I'm passionate about. There's a lot of passion behind this as well. Passionate, confident, again, charismatic, restless, events that require immediate action. Trust your instincts, stay focused in a passionate relationship. You may be like dipping out, going, going, going somewhere else, like, yeah, I'm going over here. My Ten of Pentacles, okay. Mm, three swords right under that. Someone's feeling heartbroken about this. All right, let's clarify a little deeper because I don't know what the fuck your person's up to. But, uh, you could be dealing with someone who has air or cancer in their time. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing about this outcome. I just, I think it's, the energy is very strong. And I feel like it's like, someone here is like, concrete, like, like, I'm going after my wish fulfillment. I'm going after what makes me happy. I'm going towards my dreams. All right, I'm um, fucking... Maybe somebody came into some type of success and they're keeping that hidden. Pisces, is that you? You could have came into some type of success or, you know, gotten some like a, I don't know, even a, pro, a bonus or a promotion or some type of a scholarship or a loan or something. Something came in that's like a blessing for you and you're fucking like out. <laughs> I love it. It could have been this fucking Ten of Pentacles. Like, you're going straight into the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this shit. It's like... <laughs> I'm going full speed ahead to my Ten of Pentacles. I've already got nine, motherfucker. I'm going to my ten. All right. <laughs> I love it. All right. So what is, what is up with the person that Pisces is dealing with? Show me this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone here may also like lack loyalty. Like someone doesn't want to put the, put in the work. Like someone here may just be like very slow. They're moving too slow for you. All right. But in their emotions, they may feel like they're actually in vet. Oh, oh yeah. Someone here. I just answered my own question. Okay. Thank you spirit. Yeah. And all these fucking pages and five of pentacles, six of swords. It's like, yeah, you're moving away from this lack mindset from someone who seems like emotionally immature or just younger, you know, five of pentacles, six of swords. You're moving away from this. You're making a head over heart decision and going towards your six of wands. Knight of pentacles again, because someone here is moving too slow. Someone here is moving too slow, but in their mind, in their emotions, they feel like they're planting. They feel like they're putting, like, they feel like they're putting in effort, investing into a situation. But really their next act or their next move is the queen of swords. Like they're cold as ice. They're not giving you the emotional, like, they're not giving you what you need. So I feel like, you know, they want to move forward in a positive direction. They want this public recognition, but I feel like they're moving too slow or some shit. I don't know. I feel like someone else is like, well, I don't know. What's a seven of pentacles? The ten of swords. <laughs> Someone feels betrayed, but it's like, because they feel like they're investing into a situation. Pisces, are you being mean? Are you being mean, Pisces? <laughs> Show me the it's Ten of Swords. Yeah, someone's going to feel utterly betrayed. You got Ten Swords, Ten Swords over this ending. And it could be your person. Maybe your person's deciding to end and move away and go towards their wish fulfillment. Go towards, hi, bunny. Go towards whatever they are passionate about and leaving your ass single. I don't know. Y'all take this shit as it resonates. The moon. Yeah, there's a lot of hidden emotions here. Someone, okay, show me the Queen of Swords, please. Six of Cups. Oh. Whoever you're dealing with, if this person is the one that's like not putting in the work, not like they may be investing into someone from their past. Could be a Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or someone that they share children with. I'm just going to say that. It could be masculine or feminine. Show me the chariot. This person may be going towards that person. King of Swords showing. Yeah, this could be like a soulmate of theirs or a counterpart or someone who they're divorced from or unmarried or a baby's father even. Aries, Cancer energy. 
Show me the Knight of Pentacles. I know in the King of Swords, yeah, it's... I don't know, y'all. Someone may still be in love with someone from their past, and that's why they're, like, dragging their feet, or they're not, like, planning for the long term, or they're just moving really fucking slow, maybe because they're investing somewhere else. It's a ten of swords. This shit's getting juicy. Now I'm all interested. Nine of pentacles, yeah. Someone's going to feel stabbed in the back because someone here is going to, like, become single from a situation this could be them you have the ten of swords clarified with the nine of pentacles and you have the nine of pentacles with the ten of swords it's like somebody's gonna feel betrayed because somebody wants to be like single or someone's going off to do their own thing or becoming independent from something or whatever this gets so confusing reading for pisces and pisces sometimes i swear the hermit yeah someone's ghosting someone and moving away I don't know who's ghosting who here. Only you know. But whoever is doing, like, the betraying or feeling betrayed, I guess, the other person is very confident and passionate and having some type of success and victory, and they are... I don't really fucking feel like they're bothered. So take whatever side of this you're on. Either way... I don't fucking know. I'm done. Okay. I could do this all night. But anyway, if you guys want a personal reading, you can always hit me up. All right, info's in the description box. I'll be starting personals back on Monday. FYI. All right, so let's see. Let's get three romance angels to clarify this reading. What else do you want to tell Pisces dealing with another Pisces, please? You guys got, like, the longest out of all of them, so. New love. Woo. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yeah, so I don't know if that's you, Pisces, uh, with this Ace of Cups. That could be new love could be a blessing a child express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture hi luna you want to say hello come here sweetie pie you're the sweetest little thing ever i mean sorry buns you didn't hear that let's get one more passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy yeah i feel like someone here is definitely going towards their passion and they're doing it like like i don't give a fuck <laughs> All right, in past life relationship, you've known each other before in reconciliation. Yeah, I kind of feel like whoever this person is on this side may be reconciling with an ex. But they also feel betrayed. Maybe you're the one that's leaving them and they feel betrayed, but they're just going to go right back to an ex anyway. Or maybe they were messing around with an ex, but they feel betrayed because you're leaving them. I don't fucking know. This is weird. All right. Mm. I, I left when I saw you with someone. So, yeah, maybe you're like, fuck that. I'm out. Or someone was like, I'm out. I see like someone knows that there's something else or something else. But I feel like someone here is really quite unbothered. Like someone here is like, fuck it. All right. You want to do that? I'm going to do me. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonates, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.